In the 1990s, Romanian-Australian economist Stefan Mandel and his colleagues achieved multiple lottery wins through strategic play. In the late 1960s, a young economist named Stefan Mandel struggled to make ends meet. His monthly salary was around $10, which was not enough to meet his basic needs. He needed a way to make a lot of money quickly and decided to play the lottery. With an innate talent for numbers, Mandel spent every spare minute analyzing articles on the probability theory of the 13th century mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci. After years of research, he developed a number selection algorithm based on a method he called combinatorial condensation. Statistically, the odds of getting struck by lightning are four times higher than winning the lottery. However, there was one person who won the lottery an astounding 14 times, without ever being struck by lightning, and that was Mandel's secret. According to Mandel's method, if a player chooses six numbers from a range of 1 to 49, the chances of winning the jackpot are 1 in 13,983,816. By choosing 15 numbers, the odds of winning the jackpot increased to 1 in 2,794. With his algorithm, Mandel was confident that he could at least win second prize along with hundreds of smaller prizes, and the chances of winning the jackpot were 1 in 10. Mandel collaborated with four friends, each purchasing 228 lottery tickets. He was fortunate to win a jackpot worth around $2,000 at the time. After deducting expenses, he had enough money to take his wife and children abroad. After four years of traveling throughout Europe, Mandel settled in Australia and started playing the lottery in a different way. Many lottery winners have squandered their prizes on extravagant houses, expensive cars, gambling, or legal issues. Robert Pagliarini, a financial planning expert, suggests that to avoid ending up empty-handed, lottery winners should hire a financial support trio to help them plan their future spending. This trio consists of a lawyer, a tax specialist, and a financial advisor, Pagliarini says. They are responsible for helping you make smart financial decisions and planning for the future. They can also protect you from the media and the demands of sharing winnings with others. According to Pagliarini, the most important thing for winners to do in order to avoid being swept away by the whirlwind of winning the lottery is to remain calm and focus on a long-term plan with practical financial goals. For Mandel, after winning the lottery 14 times, his goal was to win the jackpot of the Virginia Lottery where the odds of winning were very low but the prize was substantial. However, when he applied his strategy to the Virginia lottery system, Mandel was caught and sentenced to 20 months in prison in Israel. After that incident, Mandel decided to retire and enjoy his life in Vanuatu, an island nation in the South Pacific known for its volcanoes and majestic waterfalls. In the 14 previous wins, Mandel's approach was legal, but new laws in the US and Australia have placed this behavior on the prohibited list. Currently, the two main elements of Mandel's formula, which involve purchasing a large quantity of lottery tickets and printing tickets at home, are banned. Here are the six steps of the formula that Mandel used to earn a substantial amount of money from the lottery. Calculate the total number of possible combinations. For example, if the lottery requires you to choose six numbers from 1 to 40, it means there are 3,838,380 combinations. Find a lottery with a jackpot larger than three times or more than the total amount spent on buying all the combinations. Mobilize enough money to buy all the combinations. Mandel collaborated with 2,524 investors to attack the Virginia lottery. Print millions of tickets for each combination. This was previously considered legal, but now you can only buy tickets at authorized ticket outlets. Provide tickets to authorized lottery agents. Win the prize and don't forget to distribute the money to the investors. When Mandel won a $1.3 million jackpot in 1987, he paid almost all of it to the investors and kept only $97,000 for himself. In Vietnam, Mandel's method is not profitable when applied to traditional lottery systems because the total amount spent on tickets is twice the value of all the prizes won. When applied to the Viet Lit 645th lottery, even if you manage to raise 81 billion Vietnamese dongs to buy all the tickets, you still cannot acquire all the tickets because they must be purchased directly from the retail system. Mandel's method of printing tickets is not considered legal in Vietnam, as well as in most other countries. In other words, currently, Mandel's method cannot be applied in most countries, not just Vietnam, the United States, and Australia.